So the difference for me is couldn't be more marked. I think of feelings as something that is really in your mind. Feelings are that component of your mind that has a description of the interaction between nervous and non-nervous body elements. So it's all about a representation of a process of life inside you. The vast collection or the primary collection of feelings are the feelings that have to do with our homeostatic regulation. So hunger, thirst, well-being, pain, malaise, desire. These are the fundamental feelings that you have available. And we are constantly in the sway of these feelings. They're happening to us all the time in one way or another. Emotions, on the other hand, and I don't think it could be any more different, are about actions. And I think even the word betrays that. The root of the word emotion is about motion directed to the outside. That's exactly what it is. So when you are in fear, you have collections of actions that to the world around betray a state in which you are, in which you have concerns about what is going around, concerns about your security, concerns about your safety, and so forth. So it's about actions. When you are joyful, you laugh out loud, you have a body composition in terms of the actions, in terms of the attributes of your body, that are all action-related. And they couldn't be more different from the actions that you have if you are depressed. It's a general term that describes all of this phenomenology that has to do with feelings and with emotions and is related to your body and is actually less immediately related to some concrete thought or some concrete way of reasoning.